you are for some reason interested in all of this, then it's also a good video for you. So yeah, I'm just getting it right into it. Um, the first place that I'll be is in the shower because that's the start of my night nighttime routine usually. It's gonna be a voiceover. Just letting you know. Okay. Okay guys, so I'm really going to wing this voiceover. Basically, the first thing that I do in the shower is I wash my hair. This is me literally struggling to pick up my bar soap, but yeah, I use bar soap and you know, you just rub it on your head. Um, better than that, obviously. And I'm, I'll show you, it actually wrap, lathers really well, but yeah, I shampoo my hair and rinse it out. And then I use conditioner on my hair, same thing. Then I put my hair up in a bun to let it sit while I do everything else. And then I wash my face with the native um, face wash. Um, and I use it on my face, ears, neck, back, you know, everything. Um, there it is. And then this is probably really bad for me, but I use this and I drag it. I saw a girl on TikTok do it and it clears your pores. It's probably bad though. Okay, and then so nights that I shave, I use a body scrub, the one that's right here, and I wash my entire body and I wash all of that like scrub off, like the oils that were left over. Then I shave, I use my conditioner instead of, um, instead of shaving cream. That was the brand of shampoo and conditioner I use. This is to prevent razor bumps. And then this is the lotion that I use right now after I shower. Okay, so I'm back from my last clip. I just came down to my room and now I'm just gonna keep showing you what I do. I got changed. Usually I put a bathrobe on, but my bathrobe is being washed. Um, so first thing I always do when I come down is I take a Q-tip to my ears. I don't even want to like it have you guys watch this, but I just feel like, I don't know, that's something that I do. I know Q-tips are bad for you, um, but it's not to clean my ears, it's to dry my ears, so I don't even like put it deep at all in my ear. Um, and then, okay, next what I do is I... this on my face too. Let me know if you use 
think two moisturizers is bad. I just, I need a moisturizer for when my skin's dry, but I also just love this moisturizer and don't want to stop using it. It smells like um, celery, though, so if you don't like celery, I don't know, but I love it for, like, if, you're, if you plan on only buying a moisturizer, like, one moisturizer for, like, the summer, it, sh it should be this one. This one's not a good winter one, but whatever. It's winter right now for me. Okay, anyways, after I do that, um, when I remember I use my gua sha, um, I'm not gonna spend a bunch of time and, like, show you, like, how I use it. I actually get pretty lazy with it, and I kind of just go over my face a few times. Um, I remember about a year ago, um, I actually used my gua sha, like, regularly, and my skin, like, I could tell a really big difference, actually, when using it, um, but I, um, stopped using it for a while, and then I got a new one, I got this one because I wanted a bigger one, um, and I'm starting to use it again, um, I don't know, so I haven't seen, like, major results yet, like I did last time, but I don't know, I just... I like to use it. Um, I also can see like a noticeable difference immediately after I use it. You guys probably won't because you don't know my face like I do. Um, but I don't know. When I do a good job, I can see an immediate difference. Um, okay, and then, oh, I forgot. So I just started using this literally last night and it's recommended to start only doing it every other night. So I I'm not using it today. Um, but it's the <laughs> It's the Paula's Choice um, 2% BHA liquid exfoliant salicylic acid thingy. Um, you put it on a cotton pad, except I don't use cotton pads. I use um, reusable makeup wipes. Um, I guess makeup rounds, I don't know. Um, but you're supposed to use this. I use it before I moisturize and after I use my clindamycin wipes. I don't know if that's the perfect time to use it because clindamycin's kind of hard because I don't really know when I'm supposed to use that in my skincare routine. But my skin, after one day of using it, looks really nice. So, I don't know. I bought the sample because the original or the big one's kind of expensive. Um, okay, and then what I'll do next is I will Bondi Boost um, Intensive Spray. I bought it on, like, the week before Black Friday because it was on sale. Um, I don't know if I've seen, like, any actual, like, differences from using it, but I've heard a lot of, or I, the reviews were really good, but a lot of the reviews were also, like, the new formula sucks, so I guess it's a new formula. I just started using it, um, but I just spray it. I think you're supposed to spray it on all of your hair, but I only use it by my hairline, um, because I don't really feel like, um, like wasting it and whatnot all on all of my hair if I feel like, who knows if it's even doing anything. If I see a noticeable difference in the front, then I'll use it more. And then... and why 
wipes um, because I don't want to completely strip my face of its natural oils and then I do like makeup and whatnot. <laughs> but otherwise my skincare routine is not any different and then for the rest of the night I just um, I'm gonna do homework I'm gonna edit this video and hopefully upload it tonight um, probably watch the voice watch YouTube but I don't know that's it guys that is gonna be the end